Hey Excel Geeks, in this series we will be covering topic called problem solving form. How to create this problem solving form. This will be help for your business, right? wherever you are working with, right? If in case you are having a design thinking session in your deal, that time this problem solving form will really helpful for your student, okay? Otherwise, if in case you want to understand the root cause of the problem, whatever uh, problem is occurred in your business, you can definitely use this form and, uh, you know, identify the root causes for the business which we had, correct? So, how to create this form in MS Excel, this stepwise guide will help you a lot. So before we begin, just wanted to keep this expectation set, we Having are this keeping video series is at a beginner scale folks okay because considering that you know many of the viewers might not have you know real time understanding about the ms excel so we will go a little bit slow if in case you are already proficient enough in ms excel so please bear with me okay so without further ado let's get started so this is a start button okay folks and then you need to click on this option called ms excel you will click ms excel and you could see this uh, pop up will come Okay, and then you need to click on this blank workbook as soon as you hit a blank workbook you will see this page okay the top option which is file home insert page layout formulas data review view help these are the ribbons which will help us to do a editing in your document okay this is the worksheet where we are working and creating a form okay you can create in word as well but in excel it's easiest to do the job to do okay so that's what i'm creating in ms excel for now okay if in case you want me to create in ms word feel free to drop in comment section okay i'll happy to create in ms word as well for you guys okay this is the uh you know zoom in zoom out button here is a scroll basically okay you can just zoom in and zoom out these are the boxes which means these are the cells in ms excel this is the column and this is the row okay so basic uh, navigation i gave you the overall idea how it looks like okay now uh, before we create a form or maybe any kind of a document in ms excel ensure that we are setting the print area okay and then post that you know we can start the creating our any kind of a document which we are looking out for right so i'll just select this entire stuff or maybe i'll just simply uh, see over here page layout print area and then i'll say clear print area first okay and then here is the option called print titles i'll just click on this i'll turn on this option grid lines and black and white okay and i'll click on this option print preview as soon as i hit a print preview this particular document you could see it which is we didn't find anything to print because we haven't uh, typed anything on this working on this spreadsheet so that's what you know it's showing that we can't find anything okay now you could see this option which is dotted lines added over here automatically these are the print area and in this uh, between this print area we need to update or uh, do our details whatever we are updating the details okay just ensure that you know whatever formatting we are performing in this part which is a to i this will only get print okay rest of the others will not get print you could see right these are the dotted lines uh, are automatically get added by ms excel this means that whatever content we are adding over here suppose i'll add a and then i say z over here this is only gonna print okay rest of the other part will be on a second page so let me just i'm just checking at the bottom where is the rest of the other dotted lines added so i just say l okay and i say p for example if i type i over here and k over here this will be automatically get print into the next page section okay so let me quickly give you a glance i'll say Control p and then you could see this l and p is there okay a and z is there okay
okay when i say second page this rest of the other document it's coming in the other document cool so it's complete upon you how you want to create your uh, own problem solving form okay folks so i'll just delete this and uh, with the help of this dotted line reference i'll quickly start with my form okay i'll just select this click on this home button merge and center i'll say problem solving form cool i'll say color would be this and uh, i'll click on this a for adding a font color i'll click on this white alignment would be center and then i'll say bold i'll increase the size of it cool so so far what we have did we have just added the um, header of the form and then what i'll be doing over here i'll say what this is my problem statement resolving so where when and how mm, instead of how i'll say who five wives method i'm just adding over here okay so for now i'll just say or maybe i'll just say why as well that's completely fine cool so this is what uh, a describe a problem methodology for me so i'll say merge and center describe and uh, for this i'll say this blue color simply and i'll just select this entire stuff i'll just keep this and all bottom so for now if in if in case you want to see it how it looks like you can just say a control p and you could see this is how it looks like for now cool i intentionally selected a black and white earlier okay if you could see the uh, green color right which we selected earlier it's it's not there okay it's only a black and white so we'll work on that part as well if we needed the color work okay, so we can do that too so if in case you want a what in this type you can keep it otherwise you know just simply say no border and just say outside border likewise here outside border boom so this is how it is done so far and i'll just say this is the headers for me so this is the old cool now what uh, i'll be doing over here i'll just after describing the problem i'll say analyze right so i'll just simply select this entire thing merge and center simply copy and paste over here because we want a same formatting so that's what i just a copy and paste now i'll just rename it i'll say analyze phase this is the analyze phase for me now if we are in an analyze phase so these are the causes which we see right we need to add over here i'll just select this four so let me just add draw a line over here because this will give me the glance that you know i need to only limit myself until so and so i'll just select this entire stuff the top outside border cool i'll just say control p so until this i have this entire um, spreadsheet available so what i'll do i'll just select a three lines 
okay so select these three lines three lines over here again three lines now I'll say man machine management and then if in case uh, we have any methods material material and then which is your environment right so now this is what I have did so far folks okay ensure that you are selecting this and make it a bold control B just simply or maybe just just to click on this option which is bold now I have did this so far now what I need to do simply uh, need to add this facts and figures as well so I don't have a table for that so what I'll do I'll just copy this and uh, I'll just paste it over here and I'll say facts and figure facts and uh, figures over here and I'll simply just select this margin center ok and this is the table entirely available for facts and figure and then this is the outline border cool so let me just adjust this yeah so this is what we have done so far and uh, just let me see what we can do it extra I think outside border outside border this is what earlier missing right so I just keep this as a central as an alignment prospect boom so this is what uh, it's look like and I think this is a separate separate tab so what I'll do I'll just select this again I'll click on this all border again the all border and facts and figure if in case any so they can directly add it over here I'll just click on this insert option so basically this is an a fishbone analysis we are adding over here folks okay and uh, direction I'll just say direction 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 click on this option filter direction see. you can insert this shape uh, from stock images icon or maybe you know uh, simply will go here illustration shapes there is a simple option called this right right brace I'll just click on this and simply I'll just draw it and the shape outline black I'll say weight would be uh, three point so this is the facts and figure for this cool so this is what we have uh, drawn so far and uh, this is the fishbone analysis specific and uh, this is the five eyes describe analyze cool we did it and now identify the cause I want to add that parameter as well somewhere so I'm just checking if I have the space available so let me just draw something over here just, okay and uh, I'll say again I'll just select this merge and center simply copy the top and then paste it over here I'll say identify identify what this is the causes right so if in case anyone is a new and he don't know how to operate this form so we can simply type as a identify causes and we can uh, here 
simply add a serial number 1 2 3 4 5 cool I'll just keep it a 5 okay and here I'll say just outside border instead of this I'll just say outside border so let me just say a no border first okay and then just select this say outside border outside border simply outside border great so I'll just see this left hand side and copy paste identify the cost so this is what we have did so far folks okay uh, yeah I think we are in a good shape cool so after identifying the cause if in case we have any we we are no good we just add this again bold just say this bold now we have this space available until this so what I'll say I'll just say is simply over here merge and center again copy this paste it over here I'll say solve problem cool solve problem and then I'll say simply I'll just insert a table over here I'll just select this and I'll say the outside border right now I have some action pointers over here I'll just select this action and uh, solve a problem action what type of action they have performed I'll say POC point of contact date and then cadence conducted or not so yes no we will have it over here So in this cadence itself, uh, or rather I'll say meeting, yes, no, something like that. Uh, and then I'll just select this, I'll say all border, this is what it is, and I'll say all border, and here I'll say again, outside border, outside border, simply outside border, here simply, I'm just no, uh, applying those formatting which is available on the top right so apply outside border and then outside border boom so I'll just select this again bold great select this central alignment once again and it's aligned so what we have did we have added a problem solving form so far describe stage uh, analyze phase identify causes solve the problem we ha if we have already did it right and then just add their steps cool now let me just uh, click on this option and then turn that off the grid lines cool this is how it looks like now the last uh, step which is a very important stage okay and everybody likes it so that's what I'll say click this again copy simply and then just paste it over here okay and uh, simply just add a evaluation cool evaluation stage we have did and uh, what I'll do over here simply I'll just say check boxes right I just need a check boxes over here so simply I just go into the insert option called this rectangle yeah I'll just say here I have so I'll just turn on this option once again grid lines because I need a reference over here so I'll just say this and then I'll select this merge center I'll say action completed it 
simply copy paste because this is the same formatting we needed impact measured copy and paste simply right and then problem corrected again just copy paste simply just copy and paste and just add uh, with me okay this recurrence prevention and simply just copy this and uh, paste over here boom so we have this formatting once again new standard it's getting marked somewhere it's getting height so i'll just click on this option left cool i'll ensure that you know this wrap text option is on i'll just merge this instead boom this is how it looks like now for me and then uh, improved process and then i'll say training if required okay I'll cadence a meeting now this particular bracket would be a great help for us folks okay ensure that you are keeping this fill no fill and the border would be the same i'll just copy this and paste it down just ensure that you are pressing this option uh, called control and shift this will not move here and there simply just get placed at the bottom just copy this control press press again simply and just paste it over here simply right again control and duplicate of this cool so this is what we have did so far folks okay and uh, now as it's an evaluation stage folks okay just ensure that you know you are adding uh, if in case you have uh, any other required details you want to add you can definitely add those and now if uh, you are evaluator okay uh, if in case you are conducting any design thinking kind of an session right so ensure that you, know, you are adding this details as well name date grade if you want to give the date grade to the respective student right so you can add that to completed or not you can just simply type that and uh, I'll say again outside border here replicate the same outside border over here and here say cool and I'll just click on this option bold great so this is what I arranged so far I'll just select this click on this italic select this here is option called italic which is control I you can simply click on this option so this is what I have prepared and completed if in case you want to create a this check boxes right you can just simply add this and say yes and no or otherwise just completed yes no you can just simply type that that's also fine okay just say merchant center merchant center merchant center boom so this is how it looks like for me now and uh, boom here, here you go and uh, as I rightly mentioned that you know we don't have a you know more space available over here to print out this particular form however uh, if in case you want this particular form entire form in a color printout so for that what you need to do simply so let me just import a some sort of logos over here okay for this it's a different for this is a different right so how we can do that in excel it's a possible to do okay in word as well we can do it but now let me just add a 
illustration icon and then I'll say business over here when I say business I'll just say click on this option and then I'll just click on this option okay you can select as per your own uh, choice folks okay I'm just randomly selecting this okay and inserting cool as soon as I hit a enter this is what it is and I'll just drag this at the top now I'll say this is the logo for me and uh, for this I'll say this is the logo and uh, at the bottom just drag it a logo and uh, keep it aside simply I just select this drag it down again I'll just select this drag it down and I'll keep it over here cool so this is how it looks like for me and it any which is where printing this in a color form so I'll just select this change the color I'll say this or maybe I'll simply just change this and then no outside border just no I'll just click on this option again this fill click on this any random color I'm just picking okay folks then I'll just see this option I'll just click on this blue great this is what we have did so far and this uh, this particular form is really helpful for you guys okay so let me just click on this option view again okay page break preview once again this is how it looks like in one page normal view and then as soon as I hit a normal view click on this option just click on this print title okay remove this option which is a black and white right so earlier we have selected this because uh, we want a printout in a black and white shape but now we want in color so I'll just remove this and then click on this print preview option so this is how our form is looks like folks okay and uh, if you could see there are some grid lines also available just ensure that you know you are turning that off too okay just turn off this and then again print preview boom there you go this is how it beautifully uh, looking problem solving form okay for us and you can definitely use this for you know identifying the root causes and time to you know export this into the PDF okay so I'll just click on this option print okay now my PDF Adobe PDF print section so that's what it's exporting into the PDF now I'll say download section root cause analysis cool so as soon as it's done root cause analysis control P and you could see this PDF add off PDF is ready for me if in case you want direct print you can take a direct print as well okay now I want to export this into the PDF so I'll just click on this file export okay and then create PDF create PDF option okay as soon as I click on this create PDF option there is an option called downloads right so you will need to click on this option download and as I have already saved this file ensure basically I'll just again click on this option root cause analysis uh, file 2 cool so I've just saved this file and as soon as I click the save you could see this beautifully your problem solving form in PDF cool so this is how it looks like folks okay you can definitely create uh, your own problem solving form with this simple steps I hope you found this useful folks so please hit the subscribe button and thanks once again